It's time for Six Figure Trucker period number 13. Let's take a look at my compensation as a W-2 company driver. First, we're going to talk about the logs for the week. I was paid for 3,207 dispatched miles. I had 3,844 logged miles. My utilization this week was 106%. The day in orange was a day that I was on a paid 34-hour reset. My unedited pay statement for period 13 of 2024. This includes all trips from March 17th to March 23rd. The first trip started in Tucumcari, New Mexico, and ended at the Fort Recovery, Ohio Terminal. It had a stop in Greencastle, Indiana, and it paid $904 for 1,244 miles. The second trip started at the Fort Recovery, Ohio Terminal and ended in Tucumcari, New Mexico. It paid $831 for 1,230 miles. The third trip started at the Fort Recovery, Ohio Terminal and ended in Kinston, North Carolina. It paid $458 for 733 miles. Empty Miles paid $37. Hazmat Miles paid $49. A 34-hour reset paid $100. Loaded Miles paid $1,968. And Stops paid $42. Total earnings for this week was $2,197. We keep hearing that across the industry, drivers are getting less miles and making less money. I am one that believes in hard numbers rather than anecdotal information. Here is the comparison of my miles and compensation for the last four years for the same period, week number 13 of each year. 13 weeks into the year, my gross income is $28,377, and I've driven 37,230 miles. This averages out to $2,183 per week and 2,864 miles per week. Estimating that out over a year, I'm on track to earn $113,506 for 148,918 miles. Through week number 13 of 2024, I have been loaded 94% of the miles and 10% of those have been hazmat placarded miles. This is a map of the miles per state year to date in which I have driven. Texas remains well in first position. Ohio, North Carolina, and my home state of Georgia remained in second, third, and fourth respectively. Arkansas and Indiana flipped for the 5th and 6th positions. This week, I added one more state to the map. That was New Mexico. Here's the home time that I've taken this payroll year. No additional home time was taken this week. I have been on home time 5 times so far this year, totaling 17.5 days. I've also had 8 paid 34-hour resets on the road. My driver settlement shows 10, but 10, 2 are actual layovers. I'm not paid hourly, but let's calculate it like an hourly job. For the week, my gross pay was $2,197 for 65 hours of work. If we break that down into a typical hourly job, it could be 40 regular hours and 25 hours of overtime, resulting in an effective pay rate of $28.55 per hour. Straight hourly pay would be $33.99 per hour. Year to date, I've earned $28,377 for 706 hours worked. Out of those hours, 520 would be regular time, 186 would be overtime. If we calculate it weekly with overtime, the effective pay rate is $35.51 per hour. However, as straight time, it's approximately $40.19 per hour. As always, make sure you're enjoying every day at work.